What's up guys? Here's my next patient. As you guys know, I've been working on toys for the last week or so. And this guy uh, was given to me. And I didn't have a tape for him, so I didn't know if he worked. Supposedly he did work. But uh, I got a tape for him today and... If they need some help... His, uh, it plays, but his mouth no one should and ask eyes you don't move. So, I don't know no if I can fix this or not, because it all depends on what's wrong with him. But if the servos inside are good, I'm guessing his motors are locked up or something. So, I'm going to try to fix it. And I'll update, see what's up. I'm going to take him apart later today, after I get some work done that I got to do. And, uh... No one should touch you on the parts of your body covered oh, no. by no. <laughs> and if someone does, Yeah, so I think I might be able to fix him if his servos are good. And if he doesn't have anything broken, like wires or anything. Even if he has broken wires, I should be able to fix him. So, I'm not sure what's wrong with him. And I've never worked on a Teddy Ruxpin before. But I guess I can't make him any worse unless I break something myself. Which if I do, it's a lesson learned. But I'm going to attempt it anyway. I'll keep you guys posted. First thing I'm going to do is... Uh, Remove the tape by taking these two screws out and then hitting some tabs here with a flathead screwdriver. I'll let you know how that goes shortly. Oh, take the batteries out first. Pretty cool. The wizard. The wizard? Yeah. All right. So now I have the bottom lip moving and the eyes. But the top lip is controlled by this motor right here, and that's not working. So I'm gonna get at it now and see if I can make it move. And then this bad boy will be fixed. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I found the problem with the middle motor, which is the upper lip not moving. I got the bottom lip working, but this one, you can see, let's see if I can get it on the camera, but this came up apart from the solder joint. So what I plan to do is just hit that with a little bit of heat and see if I can reattach it and turn it back on and see what it does. So that'll be the next thing. I just got the third servo to move. I thought it was done, but I had resoldered it right there because it was all fucked up. And then I just kept on messing with the motor and I just got it to start moving. So now it's a matter of putting it back together and everything should work, I think. Let's see. So he's working again. The problem. There was a solder joint, as you can see there, I kind of hit the plastic, but I had to fix that. Look, look, and uh, then the motor was really locked up, so I had to pop that out and kind of get it moving. But now i got to see how I put them back together. That's going to be fun and interesting. But anyway, that is working, which is awesome. Alright, so I've got them back together. I just kind of want to show before I put them back um, what I had to do to get the shit off. It's really annoying. So, the tape deck's over there. Right now I took it out. But um, it's these clips that you have to hit here in case you ever have to fix one. And I'll make a YouTube video probably of everything I've documented just so people can reference it. But um, if you... Uh, pry these with a screwdriver really carefully you see the clips right there on the side they come out then you just have to kind of there's this one string here that kind of holds everything together and uh, I gotta sew him back together now and sewing is definitely not anything I'm good at but I'm gonna give it a shot 
but um, also this kind of was tucked in inside the tape player to cover it a little bit I think um, I took some pictures so I'll reference those before I put it back together but anyway that's where I'm at right now and uh, I'll keep you posted all right, Caddy Rux been alive and back together. There I'm not good at sewing, but I did the best I could. You can kind of see the seam. He was Many open like all the way up to here. To and I'm trying to tell how shitty is a sewing job I did, but not really. But, lots more help is but anyway, Everyone has to do everything they can that was a nice little project to undertake and right today. Now, Prince Aaron thought he knew which way we would have to travel to get to their home. And after a while, he started to see things Success. in the land below the airship that he recognized. Then we saw in the distance the beautiful castle of King Nodbert. Look! There's my home! There's my home! We were all very happy to have been able to help the princess and to bring her back home to her parents and all the other people who love her. Let's meet her.